Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Out of the Box with me, Dual Streep. Each time I'm going to be reaching into this box of old Star Wars things, I've got toys, books, memorabilia, and reviewing an item per episode. Let's see what's in the box today. my first fully prequel item, it's Darth Maul. So this is part of the Titanium Diecast series. I think I have three of these, but I've never opened this one before, so let's do that quickly. I think this is the most like an unboxing that this channel has ever got. That comes off. Cellar tape on the saber blade. That's not gonna hold. And the protective plastic comes off. And there he is. The design on here is really cool. It looks like his cape is being thrown around in the wind, but it's actually cold hard titanium. What is there to say about Darth Maul? Introduced to us in 1999's The Phantom Menace, he was definitely one of the two coolest things about that film. I'll get to the other one soon. He had the first dual lightsaber that we'd seen on the big screen, which meant that he could have the first 2v1 battle as well. He was acted by Ray Park, a stuntman slash actor who you might recognize as Toad from X-Men in 2000. However, he was voiced by Peter Serafinowicz, a great British comedian, actor, impressionist, who you'll probably recognize from Shaun of the Dead as Shaun's uptight roommate, Pete. There's a really great podcast called Richard Herring's Leicester Square Theatre Podcast, or Rahel Estepe. Rahel Estepe. Where Peter Serafinowicz recounts his experience of voicing Darth Maul on The Phantom Menace. It's a really fun account from somebody on the inside of that feeling I think we all had of anticipation for the first new Star Wars movie in two decades and the disappointment that followed, whether it was in the theatres or years later, or not at all. It's okay to like different parts of Star Wars. So I suggest looking that up. It's Peter Serafinowicz. P E T E R. Sarah Finowitz, and I think you should let your Google autofill do the work for you. Character-wise, we didn't know much about Darth Maul other than he was clearly a badass, just from the films alone. If you started going into the extended universe, or if you watched The Clone Wars or Star Wars Rebels, then you got a much bigger picture of the character. For example, those of us who like to delve a little deeper know that he's a Zabrak from the planet of Dathomir who once commanded the Mandalorians. But as far as most casual moviegoers were concerned, he was there for The Phantom Menace, he got chopped in half in The Phantom Menace, and he was dead by the end of The Phantom Menace. Which is why almost 20 years later, when he showed up in the end of Solo, A Star Wars Story, I believe a lot of people would have been very confused. That's probably why they had him ignite his lightsaber, just on a random Zoom call with Kira. Bit of a strange flex. As I mentioned earlier, Darth Maul is one of the two coolest things about The Phantom Menace. The other is clearly Duel of the Fates by John Williams, and as such, I prepared this. Da 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 da
Thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to click through to other items you'd like to see reviewed. And as always, don't forget to look, subscribe, and click on that bell for notifications. You can also drop a comment below about some of the items that you might have had growing up. For Star Wars Out of the Box, I'm Dil Streep. Goodbye. <laughs> it's not in there.